I'm Sami Mackinen, Technical Marketing Manager from the AMD Chipset Division here in Toronto. Today we will take a look at the AMD Overdrive, the comprehensive overclocking and tuning application for the AMD Spider platform. As an active member of the overclocking and enthusiast community, the way I used to tune my PC was that I opened several applications for different tasks. I had one application open for tuning the performance, one application for measuring the system stability, and another application open to benchmark and verify the system performance level. So what we did with the AMD Overdrive was that we truly combined all these requirements under one application. All in all, it's truly a comprehensive overclocking utility. So the system we will be using today to demonstrate the AMD Overdrive is the AMD Spider platform, which consists of AMD Phenom CPU, AMD 790FX chipset, and ATI RV670 graphic cards. Uh, these components will be available later this year. AMD Overdrive is one of the cool features you will see with the AMD Spider platform. So let's take a look at the AMD Overdrive. The initial page will give you a quick idea of your system details, including the CPU, hypertransport link, and memory details. So the next tab is status monitoring, where we can monitor each CPU core individually. We can monitor the CPU core usage, temperature, and frequency for each CPU core. For performance tuning, we have different modes. By default, the AMD Overdrive opens in novice mode, where the user has two options. The first option is the performance slider, where you can adjust your performance level between default and higher performance. The second option is called auto clock, which is automated clock tuning process, where AMD Overdrive finds the highest stable performance settings for each system. The only thing the user needs to do is press the start button and wait for the AMD Overdrive to find the optimal settings. For the advanced users, we have another mode called advanced mode. So here we have a couple additional tabs under the performance control. The clock and voltage tab includes all the clock adjustments for the system. Whenever you adjust your performance settings, you obviously want to know your system performance level. So we integrated a benchmark into the AMD Overdrive application. It's a very fast, easy to use benchmark which measures CPU and memory performance. One of the unique things about the AMD Overdrive is the stability tester, which truly stresses the system to the limits. Uh, what we did here is we combined the expertise from different areas of AMD. We included the AMD CPU team's internal CPU stability tester here to stress the CPU cores. In addition to that, we have the internal tools from the AMD chipset team to ensure that this chipset is running with stable settings. With the stability tester, we can select an individual CPU core, or we can select all components and stress them all at the same time. We can define the amount of time the test will run with a simple slider. The slider codes from one minute up to a week. While we stress the system with the stability tester, we can move to other tabs and fine-tune the system real-time. We can also go back to the uh, monitoring tab to ensure that the system is fully stressed. So here we see that the CPU use utilization is really at 100% for each CPU core. We can also notice that the CPU temperature goes up when the CPU is stressed. So once you have found your golden settings, you can save them to a profile and you can load them whenever you want. You can also get AMD Overdrive to automatically load a profile when your system boots up. So to sum it up, it's truly a comprehensive utility. Let's tune the system we have here, which is the AMD Spider platform. So we have an AMD Phenom CPU, four cores running at 2.2 gigahertz. It's running on the AMD 790FX motherboard with ATI RV670 graphic cards. So right now we're under the performance control menu and I'm going to adjust the clock settings a little bit. The first thing I'm going to adjust is the CPU core clock multiplier. Let's adjust that from times 11 to times 14. 
The next step is that I'm going to increase the hypertransport reference clock from 200 megahertz up to 215 megahertz. So the last slider I'm going to touch is the PCI Express clock slider, which is the clock speed between the graphic cards and the chipset. So now the clock speeds have been applied. So let's move on to the stability testing page. So we obviously want to make sure that the system is running stable with the new settings. So I will select all tests and uh, start the stability tester. So each CPU core is now fully loaded. Each of our four CPU cores is running at 3 gigahertz. We increased the memory bus from 400 megahertz to 430 megahertz. We also increased the PCI Express clock from 100 to 120 megahertz. And we increased the HT reference clock from 200 to 215 megahertz. And that's how AMD Overdrive takes your spider platform to a new level.